Hey, what's going on, folks? Clutch here. We're uh, working on a little bit of our uh, cashing out today, I should say. Uh, just heading out. We'll pick up a new truck. We'll look at something new here. We'll see if we can get it brought back to our farm. Hopefully, they're uh, pretty much giving away this truck that's over out on out the logging camp here. So, uh, you know what? If I got an excuse to go do a little bit of off-roading, I'm in. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, yeah, so we needed to do get pick up something that would be able to load some crops uh, and take them to, to, to the market, basically. Because all we have are the tractors right now. And, uh, well, Uncle Joe's not a lot keen on letting me steal any of his trucks. He's got that Hulk sitting up there, but he doesn't sound a lot keen on letting me have that thing. So, um, I guess I'm going to go find a truck I can haul some stuff with. We'll see. We'll see what they got here. I was up on, uh, online with managed to pull it up on the computer. It looks like it's going to do, and then they only want 500 bucks for the thing to get rid of it. So, as long as it runs and I can load it, that's all that really matters. Now, this thing you'll see what i'm talking about it's uh it's a bit dated guys it's definitely a bit dated but as long as it does the job we'll be good to go so let's go pick this thing up go take a look at it go for a cruise and uh, get back to harvesting let's do this thing pitter patter clutch simulations just pulling into the forestry logging shed area there's their new truck that i think uh, they must have just picked up you can see but right there is the one they're getting rid of yeah it's a bit of a beast um you know what let's just we'll leave the truck right here this is fine i better shut that off i suppose now yeah it looks like it's actually not in too bad she's better than the pictures to be honest with you <laughs> look at this hood <laughs> she's pretty beat up um you know what though six wheel drive this thing uh will have no problem it should never get stuck really it's not a ton of horsepower, but a ton of torque, so it'll be able to haul anything, I think. Got a bit of a rear hitch on the back. They're one of those hook hitch style hitches on the back, so that's not bad. I could probably tow our bin around with this, potentially. We'll see. Um, let me go over and see if I can grab the keys for this guy. He knows I was coming, and uh, we'll see if we can take this thing for a quick spin. All right, he gave me the keys. Um, I didn't even notice the muffler, or the, not the muffler, but the air filter on the front here. This thing will take a beating. We could put this halfway in the lake, and it'd probably still be fine, guys. Let's hop on inside. All right. Uh, all right. Glow plugs on. All right. Let's fire it up. Well, it starts. No problem. All right. Well, that works. Okay. Let's go for a little cruise around the parking lot here and just see how she runs, shall we? Oh, that muffler is looking like it's seen better days. Oh, yeah. No problem. That's great. Okay. This is fine. Totally fine. Lots, lots of power. Well, more than what I'll need it for. Let's be honest. We'll fill this bit, this, this dump bit, bed up, and uh, this is all we need it for, guys. This is fantastic. I like it. All right. You know what? I'll buy this. Whatever. This is all good. It's all I need. It's something cheap, something quick. If we need to, if it doesn't work, it's 500 bucks. Whatever. Who cares? Let's leave it here. We'll go in and pay for this, and uh, we'll see if we can get this brought over to the farm. That's slick. I like it. Cool. Not bad at all. I'll take that. Let's do this thing. Let's get this paid for. Head back to the farm. Been busy harvesting away here this morning already as well. Things are coming together slowly. We're about uh, what halfway done this field here. This is our old field. So we're going to get some straw off this at least as well. Now, I'm going to need to bale this, of course. Uh, but I don't have a baler. So, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to go steal Uncle Joe's. Uh, we'll go up to the farm and grab that. I think he's got a decent baler up there, to be honest. I don't even know what it is. But I did see something decent up there. Look at this. It's gonna be full. It's gonna be full already. Um, we'll, we'll have to bail this now. I might I might actually windrow this just to make my life a little bit simpler. Is that worth it? I mean, I don't know what we have for a windrower to be honest. We might be able to get three to one then. Just save ourselves a little bit of work. I don't know if that's worth it or not. It seems like it's such a toss up whether it's worth it to windrow this kind of stuff or not. Um, if we had a bigger harvester, of course, it wouldn't be any point. But a small little harvester. You know what? It might be worthwhile to, to windrow this thing. I don't know. I have to look at that. Might look at that as an option. <laughs> I don't know yet. Um, anyways, our silo is pretty much full of the wheat that we got the other day. No, soybeans, sorry. Uh, the oat. So I'm assuming the oat is going to be about the same. It's probably going to fill that that uh, silo up completely. And then right after we get this harvest done, I want to sell all this stuff as well. So see if we can make some quick a quick buck on this stuff. And uh, we'll go from there. We'll go dump this thing off. We'll get back to harvesting. And back to work we go. Sweet. Excellent. All right. Get that straw going. 
Perfect. All right, this old uh, 1400 series, guys, has been doing the job. The 14, is 1440 is 1400, 1440. It's been doing, uh, it's been doing the job for us, but it's struggling at times. I'm having some problems with the uh, the boom arm. For some reason, the boom arm gets stuck out every once in a while. And uh, yeah, I really got to force it back in there. It doesn't seem like it wants to get come back every. I don't know what, what's going on with that thing. But it is a bit of a fight. I think I've found a workaround at least for the time being. But uh, I do get stuck with it outside every once in a while. <laughs> so if you ever see me driving around with it and hanging out the edge, well, you know what the problem is. But whatever. It's not like it really causes a problem. We can drive all day, especially with the fields out here. They're fairly wide open. I don't really have to worry about any kind of uh, crop or any kind of trees or any buildings or anything near them. You can see like all these fields that we've got that we've been harvesting. They're all pretty much wide open. So that's not a problem at all. Nice. And you know what? It's been climbing this hill. Uh, this this field isn't as bad. The, the other field, the soybean field we did yesterday, it's a lot steeper and it had no problem. It held six miles an hour the whole time. Yeah, I've got no qualms whatsoever with this harvester. This thing has uh, done the job for us. Um, it could use a, a pretty thorough cleaning, but it, we'll see. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> that doesn't really sound like my problem. We don't know how much I like to clean things. They usually end up getting dirtier than clean when I mess around with them. Let's be perfectly honest. Um, so we'll finish this harvest off. We'll see. I'm, I'm hoping we can sell all the product we got, make a quick buck here, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. But I'm, I really want to kind of move things along on that. We'll see what Uncle Joe needs for help. But um, as we get through our fields here that he's kind of been so nice to let us take care of and, and take the profit from, you know what? Maybe we'll just uh, figure out where we can go from here, help him out a little bit more, and then uh, maybe have to get, get out of Dodge, get out of Lakeland. We'll see start up a new farm i'm not sure what to do yet i haven't heard anything from hazard so things sound like they're pretty quiet for us now so we don't know we're our uh, our escapades down there seem to have quieted down i don't know if we're going to start up uh, any more clutches brown special brew but you never know that might be that might be an option we could look at it's always always a possibility right oh we are getting there slowly very slowly oh man this feels a little bigger it's deceiving but We've uh, dumped out a couple of trips now. I've ran into, well, some may call it an issue. Some may call it good fortune, but uh, we are full on our silo. Our little silo down, you can kind of see it. It's way down in that corner over there. Yeah, you can barely see it down there. It is full, guys. In fact, I think my my bin's going to be full now as well. I still have a couple passes left, it looks like. And... I'm not going to be able to fit it in here. There's no way. This trailer is... Hey, it's sliding on me. Hey, no, 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 don't, don't you dare slide on you. Stay right there. Don't you move. Um, It's going to slide away from me. Anyways, there's no way we're going to fit the rest of this grain in here. The oat's going to be... Uh, we'll have to go grab the truck and load the rest of the oat. Hey, whatever we got out of these last couple passes here. But what do you do? I mean, we're full. I want to sell this stuff as soon as possible anyways. Let me go realign this. But uh, guys, we're going to have to go grab the truck, I think, and just leave this bin alone. Man, that's actually a lot of oat. That's not bad. Well, I guess it's a good problem to have. I'd rather have too much than too little. But still, it's kind of an interesting little uh, conundrum. Hey, look at that. It actually emptied it all out. I didn't think it did that. All right, well, let's get back to the field. <laughs> yeah, I've got, what, maybe three passes? That's like about three passes for me. We'll get these wrapped up. Oh, come on, spin around. Let's go forward. And uh, we'll go sell off some of this oat, see if we can make a little more money. You know what? I know the uh, my uncle's got... He's got, what has he got there? He's got a large, a very large windrower. I'm going to go just steal that for a bit. I'm going to steal his baler too, let's be perfectly honest. So uh, we'll steal the baler, we'll steal the windrower. We'll get the straw picked up today as well. All right, I think it's going to work out just fine. We're not even halfway filled on this last tank. You can see everything here is done. Fields are harvested. Nice. Looks good. Let's just get to the end here. Lift up the header shut her down sweet all right back over to the trucks i'm gonna dump this out and we're gonna dump what we have left in this tank we got what the 97 bushels it looks like the 97 bushel we'll dump that into the uh that beat up truck that we bought today we'll buy that thing we'll uh dump it in there and then uh, i'll see if i can get rid of some of this stuff now not sure how that's gonna handle with the weight so we'll take one truckload we'll see how she uh, how she does and uh, maybe we'll go from there i don't know if i want to tow the trailer with it i have I just have a funny feeling that that truck is not going to have the power to pull a fully loaded grain trailer. I think it's going to cause me some issues. 
uh we'll see we'll see i don't know yet it's gonna be tough to tell um but i just know just on the drive back from the forestry area there that forestry farm that we had some issues trying to climb some hills it's not exactly uh in the best of shape but we will do what we can let's dump this in perfect and uh, we got to go head up to the shop grab the wind roar after this but let's get this sold off sell off a little bit of this oat make a little bit of money right off the bat here and then uh, we'll worry about the rest a little later on that looks good that looks good oh it's gravitating towards us again that trailer does not like to stay put look at that <laughs> it's still sliding towards us you stay put but running into my stuff i think we may have some ghosts out here on lakeland <laughs> the trailer keeps on sliding everywhere all right let's uh, go up here fill the rest of this full of oat and uh, we'll take this up to our uh, silo now I've got about 900 bushels left in this silo. It's not the biggest silo by any means, but 900 bushels is still quite a bit. Uh, I don't know what this truck holds off the top of my head, but it's going to be a little less than that. That's for sure. Uh, not to mention, guys, we still have that trailer full right over there. So, I mean, I could try to tow it, but I just don't think it can handle it. I really don't. Oh, uh, how lazy am I feeling? Do I want to make multiple trips or do I dare try to do with one? Yeah, okay, let's try it to it. All right, she's hooked up. Um, I guess we'll see, guys. We'll see if she's got enough power for it. Yeah, it looks like it's okay. Um, I don't know. <laughs> let's see. All right, let's give her the beans, see what happens. Go, go, go. Come on. All right, well, you know what? That's surprising. I didn't know if it was going to handle that or not. But so far, so good. Come on, around the corner, back on the road. All right, all right, guys, I guess I got to take it back. It, it seems to be handling it. Uh, we got a hill straight ahead. We'll see how she handles that. Oh, yeah, she's struggling a little bit here. Let's flat spot, gain a little more speed. Come on, get on up there. I think it can handle it, though. It seems like uh, we've got the power. Nice. All right, so power is only half the battle. That being said, we got to go down to town, uh, which, okay, we're on a bit of a, a peninsula here. I know it's tough to tell. We're going to be going past uh, the uncle's farm here, Uncle Joe's farm in a bit. But this is sell point where we're, the, the people that we're going to be selling all our crops to here, they're down in the city. And, um, well, this is kind of the high ground. we got to go back down to the lake down below. And uh, I don't know if the brakes are all that great on this thing. <laughs> I hope they're fine. So... This could be interesting. Um, it's not like I got a Jake break or anything along those lines. I got no engine braking or anything along those lines. Listen to this thing. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but it's holding power. Um, I guess I'm, I'm not going to complain. Let's just go. Oh, man, guys. It's it sounding like it's rattling apart on me here. Yeah, I don't know what, what the sounds are that's this coming from this thing, but it does not sound healthy. Alright, slows a little bit down there. Alright, final hill. We're gonna get down towards the lake down here. Uh, but hopefully this thing just kind of holds it together. I'm gonna do a couple of these trips. <laughs> oh, it does not sound good. Slow her down, slow her down, slow her down, slow her down, slow her down. Nice and easy. Oh, brakes are actually not bad at all. Lots of power in those brakes. That's not bad. All right, this was a good deal. This was a fantastic deal. Pulling the trailer, no problem. Um, yeah, we're good here. I like it. All right, pull on in. And we'll dump you, dude. Dumpy, dump a dump a -dum right on in here. I like it. Right there. Dump out our oats. We do both at the same time. Oh, we can too. Look at that. Double dump. Excellent. Nice. That ain't bad at all. Look at that. All right. So let's see what kind of money we get off of these guys. Uh, this was almost double the price of any of the other oats that were available in the county. So uh, hopefully I'm hoping for a decent payday off these guys. How's this one looking back here? Everything's dumping out pretty good. All right. Look at that. 83 grand. One trailer full. We've got probably another trailer full and a truck full to do. So uh, we'll be able to double that up very easily. 53843. Excellent. Excellent. Well, that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Let me go do a couple more runs, and uh, I'm going to go stop by and grab that wind roar from uh, Uncle Joe's place. All right, everything's dropped off. We lost uh, or dropped off another 70-some-odd thousand bucks worth of oats. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I picked up 
Oh man, I picked up the wind rower. And um, this crone wind rower is a bit of a beast. I mean, I've got it hooked up to the farm all. Um, do you guys see a problem here? <laughs> do, you, do you see a little bit of a problem? I see a big problem and it's behind my farm all. Um, but whatever, we're gonna see what happens here. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Best truck run farm sim. Let's go, let's do this thing. Let's see if this can handle it. So hopefully a little tractor that could can handle this massive wind roar. Uh, I'm not gonna hold my breath, but I think we might be okay. Was it, did I sound hesitant? Yeah, but yeah, pretty hesitant. Pretty hesitant. Let's unwrap this thing. Go oh, drop those front wheels down. That's going to unwrap. And um, we'll see how we do here. We got quite a bit of oat straw to pick up. I mean, look at how I could just go with a baler and pick each one of these rows up. I'm trying to save myself a little bit of work. And uh, this sh will, well, it's definitely going to do it. Fire that up. All right. Well, it seems to run. Drop it down. All right, guys. Wish me luck. Let's go. Look at that. All right. Um, I was thinking this would not be able to handle this implement, but um, it's killing it. Sweet. Nine miles an hour. Nine to ten. I think we're going to be okay. I, th I think we can we can do this. Look at this little fireball. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. You, you are awesome. I love it. All right. Well, well, um, we've got a couple passes to make here, guys. Is it a couple, like, probably 10, 12, maybe? We'll see. But uh, we're getting four four rows at a time. Four wind rows at a time. Combine them into one. That's going to probably actually save us a little bit of time. If I only did two, I, I wouldn't really save us any time, would it? But getting all four of these... Throwing it into one. This is actually going to make it a little more beneficial, I think. This is this isn't a bad idea. It's a nice wind roar, though. This thing is massive. Look at the size we got on that. That's sweet. Perfect. All right, let's get to the top here, and we'll flip her around. Come on, get on up here. Get on up. Down to seven. Yeah, she's struggling a little bit. She's starting to struggle. All right, perfect. Lift this on up. Let's see if I can uh, spin this bad boy around and get this caught back up again. Nice. And drop it back down. And right down the middle. You know what? It's not bad because you can just kind of go right in the middle here between all these windrows. And uh, yeah, it's perfect. Ah, that's slick. I like this. All right. Well, this shouldn't take too much time to finish this off. Grab the baler next. Sweet. We're almost finished up over here. Except for the one spot where I kind of messed up right there. Don't mind me. It's all right. It can stay there. Uh, I'm not going to do another uh, pass here. We'll leave this little corner piece. I'm not worried about all of it. We'll see how much I get there. But uh, <laughs> we'll have to grab the baler. Perfect. That was uh, a lot less painful than I thought it was going to be. I wasn't sure the farm all could handle it. Now, can it handle the baler? That's the next question. Let's go grab uh, the baler from the main farm. Bring it down here. And we'll swap these two things out. Last little task left to take over. The GV520, the Gal Galliani? Galliani? Oh man, a small little brown baler. Uh, we'll see how she handles. It should be. I think it's small enough. I think we can handle it with the farm all. But only one way to know for sure. All right, fire it up. Let's go. Oh man, this thing is amazing. No problems. It seems like it's gonna handle it. That's a lot of straw though. That is a lot of straw. Now how's it gonna handle? Okay, it's dumped. And now how's it handle the startup again? Oh, not bad. You know what? I was worried that we'd have some problems um, refiring it up. Oh, man, this, this is going to be a bad news. I should I, I don't know if I should have used the round baler. I wonder if I should have went and bought a, a square baler because we're going to be dealing with some serious bail issues into the lake here very quickly. I regret this decision. <laughs> oh, no. Um, and these are a lot of bales, guys. Oh, man, this is going to be a mess. Just watching these guys go down. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem. <laughs> I foresee some some shenanigans happening here. Oh man, I'm gonna leave losing all these bales to the bottom. Well, at least it'll be easy to pick them all up later on. They're all gonna be gathered at the bottom already for me, right? Right? <laughs> Look at the straw. It's right up to the axles. That is crazy. That is a lot of straw. Wow. But anyways, 
Um, I'm going to wrap some bales here for the next little bit. If you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, you guys know what to do. Drop that like. Give it a big old slap for me. Of course, don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already. And guys, we'll catch you uh, next time. We have a fantastic day and we'll see you then. From Lakeland Vale, this is Clutch. Over and out. Out.